More often than not, dealing with all those cables drives me crazy. Fortunately, a laptop docking station is all about making my life easier. My name is Daniel, and today I have a Mini Sapporo Dual Display Docking Station review for you. And in this video we will discuss overall design, main features, setup, my personal experience, what I like about it, and of course I will give you my final thoughts on the product to help you decide if it's worth buying. Alright guys, let's start! Unboxing and design Ok, so while I unbox this docking station, let me tell you a bit about what Mini Sapporo is. So, Mini Sapporo is a computer tech startup based in Hong Kong. They are specifically focused on making top-notch small tech gadgets. You know, the things that help you stay linked up and smoothly engage with the digital world. By the way, Mini Sapporo is the sponsor of this video. So, lots of thanks to them for supporting my channel. Alright, let's look at what we have here. And as you can see, the Mini Sapporo 17-in-1 Dual Display Docking Station has a cool aluminum design. And I want to say, it looks quite classy. Especially if your laptop has that sleek metal body too. Nice to see it has these heat things on the top and bottom to stop it from getting too hot. And you will find all the pores on the front and back sides. Plus, if you look here, you will see they have got labels. That's why it's very easy to know what goes where. All in all, I would say the docking station looks minimalistic and solid enough. It doesn't weigh much, maybe around 0.5 kilo or 1.1 pounds. That's why, folks, it will be easy to take it with you. Apart from the docking station, you also get a power adapter, a host cable, a USB-C to A converter, an installation flash drive and user manual documents. Ports. Ok, now let's see what kind of ports it comes with. So, on the front panel we have a power on-off switch with LED indicator, a USB Type-C that supports up to 10 GB per second max transmission speed, one more USB Type-C with the same support plus 50 W charging output, a USB Type-A 3.0, it supports up to 5 GB per second of max transmission speed. One more USB Type-A 3.0 with the same support plus 7.5 Watt charging output. Next, there is an SD and TF card slots one under another, a 3.5 mm audio microphone jack, and finally there are two USB Type-A ports. Ok, let's look at the back panel. Here we have got two display connectors. And as you can see, they are placed in a way that allows you to hook up two displays with these. These ports work with HDMI or DisplayPort and supports up to 4K. By the way, it's important to know that you can use these ports either for HDMI or DisplayPort. And not both at once. So, as you can see, this thing can support dual monitors at 4K and 60Hz. Apart from that, we have two USB Type-A 2.0, an internet port that supports 1110 MB per second speeds, a USB Type-C host port to connect the Windows laptop or MacBook, and finally a DC power input port. Ok, now that you know what it's all about, let me show you how to set it up. I have to say this docking station is pretty simple, when it comes to linking up your laptop to all kinds of gadgets. All you have to do is connect the host cable and you are good to go. If you are a Mac user and want to use an external display, a quick installation of Display Link Manager is all it takes. Alright, so to set things up, start by attaching the power adapter to the Mini Sapporo hub. After that, plug your laptop's USB Type-C into the hub's host port. And then link up your monitors using HDMI or DisplayPort. Now, folks, if you don't have the drivers you need, don't worry. You can grab them from the official Mini Sapporo website if you are on Windows or Mac. Or just use that flash drive that comes in the package. Ok, so once that's done, you can get the Display Link Manager from the Microsoft App Store or the Apple App Store. And once it's all set, open it up and hit the Identify button. Your connected display through HDMI or DisplayPort will pop up. Just give it a click and that's it. Your display is good to go. To test it, I connected as many devices as possible. You know, to see how it will work at high load. And honestly, with all that connected, I never noticed any delays. 
everything runs smoothly and doesn't get overheated. I must say it's done its job quite well. What I like about it. Ok, now let me offer my own opinion on the Mini Sapporo Dual Display Docking Station. What did I like about it? Connects it all. The Mini Sapporo Dual Display Docking Station offers a super easy way of linking your laptop to multiple displays, gadgets and the Internet. All you need to do is connect the host cable. Great for M1, M2 and M3 MacBooks. If you are familiar with Apple's lower end range of MacBooks that use a standard M1, M2 or M3 processor, you know that they can only support one external monitor. But with this docking station MacBook users can actually link up multiple monitors at a time. Just remember that to make this work you will need to install the DisplayLink Manager driver and luckily that's not a problem at all. No lag. No matter if I am using a Windows laptop or a MacBook, I never notice any lag. I can play games, watch movies, browse internet, it all runs smoothly. There are no noticeable changes when using my laptop screen at the same time. But guys, I did notice that the docking station gets a little bit warm when I connect several devices at a time. At the same time, I want to mention it never overheats. That's why it's nothing to worry about. Neat workplace. If you like your desk neat and organized, this is an amazing solution. You will love the docking station's ports at the back. This setup keeps your desk free of mess and your cables all in order. Plus, the docking station comes with a gigabit Ethernet port. And that means you get speedy and dependable Internet connections. Thanks to Minisapuru, I can just plug in or unplug one cable and everything else links up automatically. Is Minisapuru docking station worth the money? I have to say, guys, at first I had my doubts. But this docking station changed my mind and really won me over. When you see how well it adapts to laptops, whether they have USB-C or USB-A ports, you will be impressed. And it really shows smooth performance. Basically, it turns a single USB-C connection into a bunch of useful ports and features. If you have to use two or three docking stations to handle multiple monitors, you know, it can be a real headache. That's why I would recommend the Mini Sapporo Dual Display Docking Station. I think it just might be the solution you have been looking for. Considering it's a 17-in-1 docking hub, the pricing from Mini Sapporo seems quite reasonable. All in all, I think that Mini Sapporo docking station is a great option. Alright, my friends, that's all about my Mini Sapporo dual display docking station review. Don't forget to check out all the links I left in the description down below. Thanks for watching and till next time.